It appears there is a small earthquake on the island. Oh. Oh, fantastic. That's really good news. Oh, good lord. Three buildings damaged, three buildings destroyed. We got sent 7,000. Oh. Okay, that wasn't good. Don't do that again. Right, let's um, rebuild all of these. Oh, man, that cost us 7,000 that we could ill afford. And uh, repair all. Oh, that cost, so that cost us like 10,000. Jeez. Man. Okay, that wasn't good. That wasn't good. What are you complaining about? No road? There's a road right there. Oh, would you believe it? Okay, now you're connected. Thank you. Right, so we've got our docks going. How are our Teamsters doing? Yeah, see, our Teamsters are going to be pretty low at the moment, so getting all the stuff shipped out. Pff, we need more workers. We really need more workers. Uh, this hasn't got a road connection, which is, that's fair enough. So let's put in a, a nice road connection. You know what? I'm going to put a road connection in there. There we go. Let's just bring that in there. Cool. Oh, <laughs> no, 22 citizens. We're up to 133. Let's just take a quick look. So we've got 101 are employed. We've got 7 unemployed. And we've got 81 open jobs. So our employment's gone up. Because you start, I think, at 60. So um, that's going pretty nicely. Come on, guys. Work, work, work. Zug, zug. How are we doing down here? We got any, any... Oh, yeah, see? Stuff's starting to come in to be sold. What about up here? Oh, yeah, 2,000 in that one. Oh, so we've got about 4,000 in goods to sell. And that's just going to, like, go up and up the more people we get coming to the island. Oh, so we've got four working there now. Five in that one. How are we doing the plantations? That's still only three. That's only three. Right. You know what? Um, I'm going to just quickly go to buildings and raw resources and cotton plantations. And I'm just going to do any upgrades that I missed. So that one. And... Oh, I only missed one. My God. That's a surprise. I usually miss a lot more than that. Okay, how are we doing? That's not increased. That's two and a half now. Oh, this one's up to seven and a half. Oh, so we've got like 10,000 coming in. That'll get us back to like zero. We, it's December, so we'll get um, more funds. To, oh, 11,000 from the Chinese. Russia, 5-4. Sweet. So when we sell our goods that we've got, oh, we'll be in good shape. Right, here we go. Tropicans await elections. Right, so we're going to say, no, there is no need. I already know I am in the hearts of my people. Viva el Presidente! And pretty soon people are going to say, Viva la Revolucion! And I'm going to say, screw the Revolucion! Viva el Presidente! El Presidente forever! Right, these guys are protesting. I'm going to leave them alone. Um, oh, by the way, yeah, let's make that a rule as well. No negotiating with protesters. Ho ho no. No negotiations. Send the bloomin' army in. Which means that we um, we really need to kind of start getting the army going. So, now, oh, the palace, because the palace is military, I can crank that up to five. Get those guys filling these jobs and being happy. We'll have the personal death squad. And uh, now we've got those guys. Let's send in the army. Ha! <laughs> you want to protest? Um, protest at the end of this rifle. I don't know what happened there. They, st they started to go and then they were like, oh, no, uh, run away. Whatever. Okay, invite the EU to one of your embassies. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that at some point. We'll, we'll do a whole embassies and banks and all that kind of stuff. Why aren't we sending a military squad? Oh, there they are. What the hell happened to them? I think they got teleported to the other end of the island or something. Yeah, that, yeah they've dealt with the protesters. Protesters have gone away now. Ha 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 ha. We are, we are going to keep these people so oppressed. Poor, living in shacks. It's going to be sweet. Well, um, oh, this one hasn't got a road connection. Let's put that in. I always miss road it would It wouldn't be one of my fids, would it, if I was, like, doing things right? Let's put a little road in there for that one. Um, 
Let's go, let's go around and like double check these. Make sure everything's working. Yeah, yeah, it looks like everything's working now. Okay, let's go check the docks, see how much cash we're getting in. Ooh, 11,000 coming in from that one. Three and a half in that one. Ooh, seven, eight in that one. So we've got about 20,000 odd coming in. So that gets us back up to like the 30,000 kind of area. That's pretty nice. Oh, and it's January again, so we get another boost. 22 more citizens, which improves our economy again. Look at these groups of shacks. These little shanty towns growing up around the plantations and the, the construction office and the Teamsters. The oh, this is sweet. You wait till you see how, like, there's going to be tons of pollution, all kinds of stuff. We're going to oppress the crap out of these people. Okay, so we're up to 50,000 already. So I think at this point, it's probably time to start thinking about our military. Right, um, military buildings. What am I going to start off with? Uh, how much is an aircraft carrier? 40,000. I want one of those. Army base is uh, 20 barracks. Hmm. You know, like now, like, how do I want to do I want a bit of space in between the presidential palace and, like, where the military is. So, like, maybe we start with the military up here. And we are going to have to put some military kind of, like, all over, because the, the rebels can go all over and start destroying stuff, so... I guess we'll have to protect valuable installations and things like that. Right, let's put um, that in there. Cool. So we're going to have an army base. So we've got tanks. <laughs> Come on, rebel scum. We're going to be ready for you. Alrighty, how are we doing? I've got another 10k in there. And two in there. And... Oh, six in there. So, again, we've got another 20k coming in, so that's nice. We are very soon going to start thinking about putting in more plantations and start putting in some textile factories, which um, will help our economy even more. So, let's just have a quick look at our uh, employment situation. Yeah, we're down to about 41 open jobs. So, I want to, you know, I want to keep this between sort of like ideally 30 to 40. Is a, is a good kind of place to be in general. So once we get down into that 30 to 40 range, I'll crank up some more jobs and then wait for more people to arrive. Right now, I want to see this um, this going up. And we're not going to be wasting any money on things like health or education or any of that nonsense. Good God. You don't want to pamper these people. They'll just become idle. They'll become idle and lazy. And they won't do anything. Right, this needs to get bumped up to max. So these guys are now rich. <laughs> so they will be looking for places to live. And we're going to build them a nice little military town, I think, where all the rich guys can live. And we'll put them in mansions. Because why wouldn't we? These guys keep us in power. These guys are the guys that make sure that we can have all of our Rolls Royces and big black Mercedes limousines and swimming pools and jacuzzis and hang gliders and gold-plated Rolex watches and, and all the other stuff that we like to have. And but I don't know. Probably, it, it'll probably as, the, as this series goes along, we'll start off with having flashy cars and we'll end up with, I don't know, hookers and cocaine parties. I would imagine that's where it's going to go, guys. Let, let's face it. All right. So, um, yeah, let's think about putting some more plantations in now. I want some more cocoa, uh, not cocoa, cotton. I want some more cotton plantations. Where can we put cotton plantations? I can put one, like, over here. And it's, I mean, we, we are essentially going to have, like, I guess, like, primarily an agrarian society. Oh, should have held down the shift key for let's put this one let's put this one in an angle there. We could put another one in here. So we will. Um we could definitely put some in this center area. I'm thinking it's not that's not like a great spot. You know, uh am I gonna spin it around that way? No. Let's 
spin it around that way. That's not like a great spot for one, but... No. Do I put it there? Yeah, I'll, I'll spin it around that way and we'll, we'll put it in this side. Yeah, let's just hook it straight up to the road there. And we'll skip the oil well. Should I put them around? Should I put a few in? I'm thinking there, one there, and uh, anywhere else. I, no, I think I think that's it. I think we've used all of the spots. So let's um, let's do a few road connections. Hook these guys up. Hook those guys up like that. Uh, this. Oops. Oh, that one's already hooked up. Cool. What else over here? Yeah, we've got these guys. So let's. Um, oh man, let's have a road that comes round here, hooks up to that one, then comes round to the main road, and then this one uh, from like there, like that. Cool. Yeah, like how that looks. Uh, did I put any more in? Was that was that all of the ones that I put in? Did I put? It felt like I put more than that in. But you know what? What the hell? Let's just let it run. I'll go and have a look around. Everything looks pretty cool at the moment. Yeah, everything looks pretty sweet. Right, how are we doing for cash? Fifty-six, fifty-seven thousand. Ooh, our cash is coming in. How's our military base looking? Oh, sweet. Right, we want to boost these up to um, Tanks Mark II. Excellent. Things are looking good, guys. Now, we're going to have to start looking after our military. Now, look at our approval rating, 19%. But this approval rating now means nothing to us because we're not having elections. So... Well, we don't care what the approval rate is. So you're going to say, mm, well, yeah, but in that case, how the hell... Oh, we've got people protesting. How the hell are you going to keep the, the military happy? Because if we look at this, and we go to uh, politics, and we look at military loyalty, our military loyalty is 32%. It's abysmal. So there's a very good chance that these guys are going to uh, have a military coup and overthrow us because they're really upset. Well... We're going to fix that, right? And and we're going to fix that pretty easily, to be absolutely honest. You know what? Should we do it now? Should we do it now? Yeah, go on then. So we're going to start off with um, the army base. Right, we'll do the army base first. And um, so this guy's got an approval of what? Like if you look down here, you'll see the approval rating. Not the happiness, the approval, right? The approval, so this guy's a 1. This guy's 76. This guy's a 1. So you know what? How can I help? Click on this guy, and it'll bring up his, his, um, his sheet. Then his workplace is the army base. Go to the army base. right? Now we want to get rid of um, Brigida and uh, Angel. So there's Brigida. Right? right click, fire her. We don't want somebody disloyal in our military and the same with angel right we get rid of him now you think about those three guys we had a one a one and a 76 right so that and that averages out to about like a, a 25 percent approval rating right fire the two guys with one we've now got a 76 percent approval rating right and we're going to do the same in our other buildings Good day. Right? so like the palace like this guy 66 fine this is 44 mm, he's worth a bribe to get him over 50. Right, this guy's 73, 78. This is a 6. So Julian, we want to get rid of. So go to the palace. And they'll be in the same order, I've noticed. So whatever order they're in here, they'll be in the same. So Julian's the fifth in this list. If we go to the fifth guy here, there he is, Julian. Bye-bye, Julian. We fire him. Then we go down to uh, Cristobal, 13. Too low. So Cristobal, goodbye. And uh, Balthazar, oh, he's a one. Balthazar's out of there. Fire you. And uh, Ivan Torres, he's a one. Goodbye, Ivan. Now, what will happen is we'll just hire more people into those jobs. And what we're going to do is just keep going back in. And, and sometimes the same people will get rehired. 
And you've just got to keep going back in and, and thinning out the people who don't have a good approval rating. And then with the people who are left, so we've got Leandro. He's a 76. That's fine. If like like over 70, well, in fact, like over fifth over over 50 percent. To be honest, I'm I'm going to be leaving them alone. Um, but let's see. Who who have we got in the palace? These four. So, uh, Doroteo is okay. Seventy, forty-four. Right. So Tasso, I'm going to bribe him. Yeah, bribe Tasso, and now Tasso's got approval. He's up to sixty-three. Pretty blooming sweet. Right. So now, if um, we let it run for a little while and then go and look at the politics, hopefully, look at this. Military loyalty is suddenly seventy percent. Oh, thank you very much. So that's how we deal with that. Oh, oh. send in the army. Come on, guys. Go kick their asses. Keep them in line, bloody peasants. Yeah, you. Stop protesting. Go home. Nothing to see here. Move along. Yeah, shoot them. Shoot them. Go on. <laughs> they shot the protesters. Oh my god, it was Tia this is Tiananmen Square down here. It was Tiananmen Square all over again. Oh, it would have been it would have been even funnier if they'd sent the tanks in. Oh my god, I'm probably going to get comments people saying, oh, "You were making jokes about Tiananmen Square." Oh, come on, it's been long enough, hasn't it? It's not too soon. All righty. So, things are going nicely. Our economy's running kind of nicely. We've got um Oh, there's nothing in there. We've got a couple of thousand in there. What about over here? Oh, we've got 7,000, 8,000, 9,000. See how this is ticking up really nicely. We're up to 66,000. Things are looking... I've got to say, guys, things are looking pretty darn good at this point. Man, I wonder just how mean we can be to these guys. Right, sh should we start polluting the place? I think we probably should. Let's make more money. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to start putting some industry in and we're going to go with textiles because we're already producing like a million tons of cotton a day. And I think we should probably put the textiles in like in this area down here kind of thing. I think that would be quite cool. So you know what, uh, let's put a road like... Uh, can, oh man, can I get, I'd like to have a road kind of going straight across here. Yeah, we're gonna have w like one straight road, and then we'll take uh, one of our factories, and we'll put it. I think we'll put it like at one end or the other. Kind of doesn't, kind of doesn't really matter too much. Then we'll put it over here. Right. So we'll bang that in. We're not gonna quick build or anything because like we don't have that much cash, but we've got loads of construction workers so. This should get built, I would think, pretty darn quickly. Alrighty. You know, guys, things right this second are looking pretty sweet. Oh, and we've got another 22 citizens. We're up to 211 population. It's going alright. 